with all the rain, there's a good chance you'll see more foot rot in cattle this year. For more, here's our extension beef cattle specialist, Dave Lawman. Foot rot is a bacterial infection of the, of the foot area, generally causes infection and inflammation in the interdigital skin. And it takes some sort of a, well, either a thinning or a break or scratch in, in that interdigital, in, meaning between the toes, uh, skin area, to allow the bacteria to enter the foot. Foot rot infections are very painful to cattle and primarily because it causes uh, serious swelling between the toes. And, it, you know, it, eventually that swelling will create a, a break in the interdigital skin and you'll see some necrotic uh, fluid that doesn't smell very good uh, being secreted from that area. To reduce the incidence of foot rot, of course, managing the environment is important and managing the nutritional program is important. From an environmental standpoint, it's, it's really pretty simple, and that is to do what you can to keep the cattle out of mud, wet conditions, so that the, you know, the interdigital skin isn't uh, stress and, and kind of over time becomes thin, soft, and so it's more susceptible to uh, any kind of uh, injury. And then secondly, anything that's sharp, pointy, anything that could scratch or puncture uh, the hoof, uh, particularly that interdigital skin area between the toes, uh, you want to try to minimize. You know, your, your, your veterinarian will have to help you with treatment in terms of antimicrobial treatment. It's very obvious in the literature that the earlier the animals are treated once the lameness is noticed and it's diagnosed as foot rot, the better they recover, the faster they recover. Um, and so, so that's important. And then work with your veterinarian to uh, figure out what antimicrobial treatment is, is most appropriate in your area. And also for animals that don't respond quickly, you know, your veterinarian needs to be involved in the decision making there because uh, that infection can spread into the deeper uh, tissues of, of the foot area and cause uh, long-term lameness. So there is a clearance for chlorotetracycline um, to be fed in mineral for primarily for uh, anaplasmosis control. It's labeled to feed the cattle at the rate of half a milligram per pound of body weight. So 350 milligrams per a 700 pound steer or 500 milligrams for a thousand pound cow. And that's been shown to be helpful as well as improve performance during the summer of uh, cattle as well. But again, a discussion with your veterinarian would be the best approach to determine uh, you know, the best way to minimize the risk and to control or to treat cases of foot rot.